coming to you from Observation Post Foxtrot at the Border Information Clearinghouse of the Veritas Center, the headquarters of American history and our godly heritage, the place you go for truth. I'm Dr. Rick Saccone. Today's question, who is to blame for the border crisis? We are experiencing the continuation of a crisis at our southern border. Record crossings overwhelm our law enforcement. I estimate that 95% of the problem is the fault of a do-nothing Congress. 65% of the blame goes to the Democrats, who are blocking any reforms to the laws that would help solve the problems. 35% of the problem is the Rhino Republicans, who did nothing and continue to give lip service to the issue, but actually do very little to help the President. In the meantime, illegals stream across our border in large groups, which include criminals, vicious MS-13 gang members, drug traders, human traffickers, smugglers, and simple people bringing unwanted diseases into our country. Others abuse our weak asylum laws, hiding behind children, wherein as many as one-third of the cases are not really their own. Remember, this is not a victimless crime. Illegal aliens from over 60 countries, wittingly or unwittingly, contribute to the organized crime cartels controlling passage, and the coyotes, they each pay thousands of dollars to guide them across the border, many suffering unspeakable dangers and are raped or killed along the way. Special interests in the United States encourage the influx of cheap labor, while our culture descending into depravity creates the demand for drugs. Our young people eschew honest physical labor, creating a vacuum for illegals. The fake news media contributes to the problem by dishonestly reporting the situation and giving voice to leftist misrepresentations, denying the focused threat we are experiencing. Meanwhile, the average American suffers. Innocent people are robbed, killed, and raped by illegals who shouldn't even be here. These are crimes that should be completely avoided. Democrat officials provide them sanctuary and demonize the police trying to protect us. President Trump is struggling against all these forces and incredibly is making progress, but he needs our help. Contact your congressman and force them to action. This is no time for idleness. We must put our nation ahead of party. We have a country to save. Until next time, in God we trust.